they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. Now Mike McCarthy saying, let's go for two. They'll let Elliott try and run it in. And he will dive into the end zone, and the two-point conversion is successful. Fifteen nothing our score. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Mar now to kick this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. Oh, a good looking return set up here. He's past the 30. He will score. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. Was it 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. Usually, man, that thing's done. Well, now that they got the touchdown, it's, it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Logan Ryan. And the Bucs are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. Well, he's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that. But I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. To throw is Brady. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. It's caught by Mike Evans. And they work this well up field across the 45. That third down conversion, good for 23. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Room here to run. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 73 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Here's a give to Fournette. 
And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Now Leonard Fournette. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up first and goal. Fournette. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Leonard Fournette. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away from evening this one up. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? Todd Bowles leaving his offense on the field. They're going to go for two here. Brady will look to throw for it. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Leighton Van Der Esch. And the Buccaneers are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. So we're back to a one-point game now as the kickoff comes. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. On second down at four, Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. Now Prescott. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamel Dean. And the Bucs are going to take possession of the football. Certainly feels like the classic second guess, but let's be honest about it. They had a chance going to halftime with the lead. Why did they take a chance with a throw there? I don't understand that. Well, that's what I'm wondering. And now this defense has to try to protect that lead going into the locker room. This is Fournette. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. On the run, it's Fournette. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Ready to throw on third and one. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So Brady departs and on is Ryan Suckett for the Buccaneer field goal. This is a 49-yard attempt. Right hash. That's trying to come back for Suckup. It's not going to get there. No good. Wide to the right, and that'll keep this a one-point game. Boy, that could have been a real momentum boost going into the break. You get into field goal position with a chance to seize the lead, but this one doesn't find the target, and they're unable to capitalize. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything.
Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. That is caught by Lamb. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. Marr able to put this one through, and that will do it for this first half. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. So a four-point game here as we get set to resume action in this third quarter of play. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. 22 yards there, a first down. They hit that crossing route really well. Excellent timing, puts it right on him, and he keeps running. Yeah, turned it upfield for good yardage. Fournette, a first down carry. Oh, he's got some breathing room. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Leonard Fournette with his second touchdown of the night. And the Bucs have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Bottom line, when you play a runner with these talents, you've got to be able to wrap up and get him on the ground. Or the first person who gets there, hold him up long enough for the next wave to get there and get him down. Otherwise, he will continue downfield and find pay dirt. Brady's going to look to throw. And he'll get into the end zone. So that pushes the lead up to four. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target, the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. From way up at the 23. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. And a really good show of force there as he gets through for four tough yards. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Six yards left on second down. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. They'll go with Pollard here on first down to about the 48-yard line. 
have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operated. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And they run the option on second down. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Third down, it's Prescott. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Mike Edwards picks it off. And the Buccaneers are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field. And a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. Now Brady. Looking for Evans, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. The one side gets an interception, but their defense comes on the field and picks them right back up by getting a pick of their own. And I think you saw the same thing that I did, Brandon. As he ran off the field after making that play, we saw... And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Prescott. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Shaquille Barrett able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Now a timeout called for by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Fourth down, Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by Jamel Dean. And the Bucs are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. They begin with a run by Fournette. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Seven, Brady. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead, you've got to protect it, and he's taking chances putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? Over the middle to Evans. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Nice third down conversion at even 20 yards. They'll try and run some clock with Fournette. And he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. 169 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. 
They'll run it again with Fournette. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Well, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. This is third and two, maybe the biggest play in this football game. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space. Maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. They'll go for it. It's Brady. And he's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he's going to have the Bucks first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. Whistles in a timeout at the 2.05 mark. So this defense wanting to get one more pause in before the two-minute warning, and they do just that. Running left, it's Fournette. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Fournette once more on second down. And some space here. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That good for 22 and a first down. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Inside handoff now to Fournette. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Five yards remain on second down. Again, it's Fournette. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Hey, Ted. Ready to hit. On third down, Fournette. And Fournette trying to power his way forward, but I don't think he got there. Sinister. This ain't rap music, this straight literature. Small minded, all your ideas.